Welcome to episode number eight of the Bolo Search series, how to turn $1,000 into $100,000. As always, no income claims are promised. Your results will vary. And everyone who has access to the Internet Mastery Tools has made an investment. With that being said, I'm super excited about episode number eight. You know, earlier in this series, I talked about the ability to do this business from anywhere in the world. Well, I'm recording this session today from the Norwegian Prima, Norwegian Cruise Line's newest cruise ship from my Haven balcony. Prior to going on the trip, I decided to purchase all new equipment specifically for travel, a new camera, some lights, a new microphone, everything that I can take with me so that I can stream videos from anywhere in the world. And with that being said, I'm so excited about this opportunity for you. On this ship, where I've now been for eight days, there's been a lot of exciting opportunities that have taken place. I've had a chance to meet with some of our most successful Internet Mastery students who've made the decision to join me on this cruise. In addition to that, if you follow me on Instagram, at Adam Ginsberg Fans, I've been posting videos of my travels and some of the product sourcing experiments that I've been doing throughout my journey. But the point is this. On this ship, Internet is spotty. Now, there is Internet, and it is slow, but at the same time, it still works. Now, what this means is whether we are in port, whether we're doing an excursion, or whether it's a sea day, the ability to find some deals online from your laptop, your tablet, or your mobile device, to be able to purchase those deals. Again, you have to be patient because the internet can be a little buggy, but the ability to do that, then send those items directly to the prep center. Don't forget to submit a prep form before it arrives, all of which can take place while you are literally anywhere. You can be in the Caribbean. You can be in Canada. You could be in Singapore or Australia or the UK. It makes no difference. The ability for you to have true financial freedom really rings true with this opportunity. With that being said, I want to share one other important thing that I've learned. One of the takeaways that I've had in speaking with so many successful people. I'm talking about students that started with Internet Mastery less than four years ago that have sold a million dollars on Amazon, three and a half million dollars on Amazon, seven million dollars on Amazon, ten million dollars on Amazon in a four year period. And what was fascinating in these conversations, and I will be posting some of those in future episodes on YouTube, is that everyone shared the same experiences. Number one, it takes time. So if you are planning on starting an Amazon business, and I say this to anyone watching this episode, if you are planning on starting an Amazon business and your intention is to make a lot of money and create financial freedom, but the moment it gets hard, the moment you feel challenged or frustrated, you're going to throw in the towel and quit. Turn off the video now and stop. Save yourself a bunch of time and a bunch of headache. It's going to be challenging. At no time have I ever said that it's going to be easy. What it is going to be is rewarding. And at the end of the day, if it was that easy, everyone would do it. But the common denominator between all of the people that I've spoken to that have achieved unbelievable results is, listen to this, they have all dealt with issues with Amazon all of a sudden popping up and being a seller on their listings. They have all dealt with uh, claims where they have to prove that the items are authentic with the authenticity claims that Amazon has been sending out more frequently. They have all had to deal with inventory being lost at Amazon. They've all had to deal with suppliers where they're buying from wholesalers, let's say, who then decide they want to cut them off. In other words, if you're going to run a successful business, you're going to encounter these challenges. One of the best parts of Internet Mastery, and again, 
a consistent theme across all of the people I spoke with is that without the coaching and the support, they would have given up. And one other important aspect, most of them invested what was to them a significant amount of money. Now, everybody has a different relative relationship to money, right? Some people think $500 is a lot of money. Some people think $5,000 is a lot of money. And to others, $25,000 or more is a lot of money. Whatever your relationship is or your perception is, what was commonplace was that several people shared with me that had they not made a sizable for them, a sizable investment in this business, it would have been that much easier to walk away. However, since they made that investment, they couldn't walk away. And so one of the things that we've learned over the years is that those of you that invest your hard-earned money into your business, whatever that looks like for you, understand that that's going to motivate you to become successful. So some people get off to a really fast start. Some people start a little bit more slowly. And some people, it takes a really long time before they hit that aha moment. What I want you to understand is this. Our Internet Mastery community is a spectacular place. It is a group of people that are like-minded, that are focused, that have the right attitude and understanding with a support system and a technology base that is unrivaled on this planet. And if you just move forward and keep your head focused, don't let the noise distract you. There is nothing that can stop you. Now, maybe that's a message you needed to hear, and hopefully you're still listening and haven't tuned out and turned it off because you feel like you came here to learn about Bolo deals and you feel like maybe I'm trying to motivate you. I'm not only you can motivate you, but at the end of the day, our Internet Mastery community is going to achieve $1 billion in sales. And then, of course, we're going to go for $10 billion. But the question I want you to ask yourself is, how much of that are you going to participate in? How much of that are you going to contribute? Now, with that being said, let's take a quick peek at the leaderboard. Let's see where we're at since episode number seven. And then we're going to jump into some awesome Bolo session training here today. So as we look at the leaderboard, we can see that we are at 154,281,000. That's 154,281,000 being sold on Amazon. And these are real people with real results who had never sold on Amazon before becoming part of our Internet Mastery community. Now, one of the things that I just want to remind you of is that we've only introduced the Bolo deals a short time ago. So these people that are achieving incredible results, a million, two million, three million, five million and more, did not have the luxury of the Bolo deals. They had to source all of their own product on their own. And if you've tried sourcing product on your own, you understand how challenging that is in and of itself. So I love the Bolo deals. I love this opportunity. Every single Monday at noon, you get 10 new deals pushed into your account. Those 10 deals might be good deals. They might be great deals. They might be opportunities to reverse engineer. But one of the things that I want to make you aware of is a recent change that Amazon has been quietly implementing. For a very long time, Amazon had gated categories. In other words, categories that you could not sell in unless you were able to get authorized invoices from a wholesaler. You can't use retail invoices to get ungated in categories. At the same time, certain listings for certain brands would also be gated based on the listing itself. So the ASIN, the ASIN might be specifically gated for you. Now, these requirements have always at a very uh, low level been about you and your account. In other words, we could have five different students look at the same ASIN 
And some will be gated, some will be not. Some will be strict, restricted and some will be not. And so there isn't one way of saying, if you do this, then this will happen. But here's what's going on on Amazon now. So what Amazon is starting to do now, which they're keeping very quiet, is they're starting to gate more and more and more items, more ASINs, more listings in categories that are ungated. So you might be looking at the toy category or the sporting good category or the home goods category. These are categories that are not restricted and find out that every item that you look at is gated. And I've started to see some of that in the feedback where new students are looking at their bolo deals as an example. And they're saying to themselves, well, this is not good because every single item is restricted. Or maybe they've gone beyond their bolo deals and they're just doing product sourcing in general. And they're looking at different items and every single one is gated. Now, this can be very frustrating because when you look at 10, 15, 20, 50, 100 items in a row, and everyone is gated, you start to ask yourself, how much work are you going to actually have to do to find one good item? Well, what I want to suggest to you is this. The way that Amazon is ungating people on certain items is on an account level. So what that means is based on your account. Now, obviously, if you're brand new, your account is going to be different than if you've sold some items and your metrics are good. If it's a seasoned or aged account, you're going to have more latitude and more leeway than if your account is brand new. But in either case, here's what I want you to do. The very first assignment I'm going to give you, and this might be a new assignment for you, but the very first assignment that I want you to do when you get your Bolo deals is I want you to go directly to the listed function in the Spy Rivals Lookup tab. Now, we're going to do this together here in just a minute, but I want you to go to your Bolo deals and I want you to make the effort to see what is restricted and what is not. Now, what's awesome about this is that I created an all new Amazon account specifically for this Bolo series, this educational opportunity for you. And remember, the whole purpose of Bolo deals in the first place is simply to be an educational process. Well, in my account, which is a new account, in my Bolo deals this week, I think that almost every single one is restricted. So that's a good thing because if every one of mine was not restricted and yet every one of yours was restricted, then it wouldn't make for good education. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Bolo deals and before I review any of the deals, I'm going to see if I can get immediately approved for any of them. And that's what you'll find in your account. It's going to be different for each person. But when you apply for specific uh, items, you will find that sometimes you're going to need an invoice. Now, if you need an invoice, you're out. Just so you know, don't waste your time. If you need an invoice, that's got to come from a wholesale supplier. Down the road, you'll learn about buying wholesale. But a lot of the time, and I don't know what percentage it is for you, and I quite frankly don't know what percentage it's going to be for me, but a lot of the time, Amazon will just auto approve you. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and jump in right now. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what happens. Let's do it together. And then you can go through this process, either pause the video or watch through this video and then do the same thing with yours. Let's go ahead and check it out now. So I'm here on my Bolo deals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clicking the Spy Rivals lookup button. Spy Rivals Lookup. And when I click the Spy Rivals Lookup button, you'll see that the middle tab says List on Amazon. If I click List on Amazon, I'm going to have two options. One is that I either need approval to list or that the item is not read and I can simply list the item right from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Request Approval via Seller Central. It's going to take me into my Amazon account and you'll see here that I have a request approval button. So I'm going to click that button. 
And there it is. Your selling application is approved. Congratulations. You can now sell that item based on your performance history. So I just want to stop here and share this point with you because again, it isn't what you do, it's what you know that you should do that matters. And when you're new and you don't know what you don't know, and you log right into the Bolo deals and you find that everything is restricted, oh, it like breaks your heart. You go from being so super excited to not as excited as you should be. Now, of course, I just, I just want to I just want to take one moment here and say to you that um, if you've never been on a cruise, you need to figure out a way to go. At some point down the road, we'll have another Internet Mastery at Sea Cruise Conference. We'll tell you about it. You got to come with us. It's an amazing opportunity, an amazing experience to network with some of the most successful people in Internet Mastery and to do it at some exotic locations. And again, follow me on Instagram. Check out some of the different excursions and the different at port events that we had. Uh, and you get to see some of that journey. But I just wanted to mention that to you because it is just gorgeous outside. All right, let's uh, let's let's go back in and see see what happens with our ungating. So I'm going to close this now. I, I do want to point out one really important aspect to getting ungated. When Amazon approves you, as they just did me for that listing, it can take about 15 minutes for Amazon and Internet Mastery to communicate with each other. Once that happens and we go back to this listing, which we will do once we cycle through all the ones that we're going to apply for, then we will see that we'll have the ability to list the item. Now, remember, you're still with your Bolo deals, going to need to make sure it's in stock, make sure it's profitable, see how many you can sell, take a look and see if there's any bundles or reverse engineered opportunities. We'll talk about all of those things. But if you believe that all of your items are restricted and you don't go any further, then you're going to be uh, you're going to be at a disadvantage. So let's jump back in. Let's continue in the process. OK, so I'm going to X out of the Spy Rivals lookup and head to the second one. This second one, exactly the same thing. I'm going to click on Spy Rivals lookup and I'm going to just repeat this process. I think if I do it enough times and you watch the video over and over and over, you'll see me do it. And again, the, I, I shared with you that the internet could be slow uh, and it just might be. So I'll click on list on Amazon. I'm going to follow the same link request approval via Seller Central. I'll click request approval and let's see what happens. So in this case, we can see that we need at least one invoice from the manufacturer. So in this particular case, this one would be bad. And when I say bad, I don't mean it's a bad Bolo deal. I mean, it just is one that you can sell without being ungated. And you can't get ungated unless you're buying this item from a wholesaler, which, of course, we are not. But if you're interested in finding other products that are similar, that might be good, that other people are buying, let me show you how to do that real quickly. And then we'll come back in and we'll ungate some more. So it looks as if this particular item is from Target. So I'm going to click on the link to Target and it will take us to the Target website. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to wait for the page to load. Why? Because the internet is slow. And you'll have to bear with me on the video the same way I have to bear with the slow internet. But what you can see is that this item is frequently purchased with this item, this item, and this item. So it's possible that if I open this item in a new tab or I continue down. Now, here's what it says. Your views, more to consider. But these are all the same brand. So we know that we can't sell those. These are all the same brand and we know we can't sell those. But what are these? These are other opportunities that we may be able to sell. Now, when we look at this image, we look at this image, and we look at this image, 
we can see that they are very similar. This is a four-in-one something. This is a shampoo something. And this is an oatmeal formula something. So I'm going to open these three as well, just for the purpose of this Bolo deal. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the Pup Peroni, Pup Peroni Original Dog Treats. And we can see there's a 5.6, a 22, and a 35 ounce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Amazon now. And I'm going to do a search for that item. Now, I don't know if the item is good or not good. But at least here, I have an opportunity to take a look and see what it looks like. So this is a 22 ounce bag. This is a 50 ounce bag. This is a 50 ounce bag pack of three. Now, when we look at the Pup Perini, we don't have a 52 ounce option. We do have a 22 ounce option. But if we look on Amazon, we can see that the 22 ounce option is at the wrong price. Now, if we take a look here, we can see that there's the option for the 50. There's the option for the 32, and here is the option for the 5.6. Now, one 5.6 is $9.75. If we take a look back at Target, we can see that one 5.6 is $3.79. And if you have a Target Circle account, you'll save 10% which means that you can actually buy this for $3.79 minus 38 cents, which is uh, 40 cents, $3.41 or 42 cents, something like that, $3.42. So if we take a look on Amazon, we can see that, and again, really important to understand what we're looking at, this Pup Perini, which says original flavor here, okay? Uh, let's take a look at this and see what we can see. So it is $9.75, FBA, $9.74, $9.76, $9.98. So we know that $9.75 uh, is probably the right price point. Let's click on, oh, and there are six sellers. So we'll click on Spy Rivals X, and what does it say? It says that we need approval to sell this brand. So since we are in the process of getting approved, let's see if we can get approved for Pup Peroni. Click Request Approval, and we have now been approved for Pep, Pup, Pep, <laughs> Pup Peroni. So let me say that again, because I, I want you to see what we just did. We went to the Bolo deal. The Bolo deal was gated, so it looked like a bad deal. We applied to get ungated, and we couldn't get ungated. So once again, it must be a bad deal. So what did we do? We went to Target, and we looked for items that are recommended by Target that are based on the things that we went there in the first place for, that we can't sell. And we ended up at the Pup Perini. I, I think it's Pup Perini. Anyway, we found one and guess what? It's gated. But when we apply to get instantly ungated, we're now able to sell that item. So let's go back and just check the profitability of the item because this might end up actually being a good deal. Let's check it out. So we know that we can buy the item for $3.42. We can sell the item for $9.75. We might be able to go up a little bit, but that's a decent number there. We'll click on Calculate Profit. We already know that we've been ungated. The challenge with this item is that the ROI is only 3%. So in this case, this is not going to end up being a good deal just based on the profitability. But the good news is that we have been approved to sell all of the Pup Perini items. Now, I don't want to spend a lot of time going through Target and maybe Petco or Chewy and finding Pup Perini items. However, there is a very quick way to see what opportunities there are. Let me just show you this because you might not be aware of this feature in Spy Rivals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Spy Rivals X 
and I'm going to then click on the Spy Rivals Lookup. And when we click the Spy Rivals Lookup, what it's going to do is it's going to show us the UPC number that was used to list the item in the first place. Now, Amazon doesn't provide us with UPC numbers. However, uh, Spy Rivals does get that data. And when I click on the UPC uh, lookup, it's going to tell us where we can find that item. So I'm gonna click on this listing. Now you'll notice that the only option with that UPC code is the item that is on Amazon. So when I click on that item on Amazon, what does it do? It takes us back to the listing that we were on. So in this particular case, the Spy Rivals lookup doesn't help us very much. But again, the point of the exercise is not for me to tell you what you should buy. It's to open up your possibility so that you know what you should be looking for. Again, it's going to take you a little bit of time, but what we've done is really powerful. We've taken a bolo deal, which is an opportunity for you to sell an item that you hadn't thought of before and find out whether you can sell it or not, whether it's profitable, whether it's selling, whether it's in stock, whether it's restricted and so forth. In this case, the item was restricted. We can't sell it because we need invoices. Well, we then went to Target, we did a lookup, we found an item that isn't necessarily profitable and was restricted, but we immediately were able to become ungated in that item. And then we can use the Spy Rivals lookup of the UPC code to see if there's any other places online, any other sites, any other vendors where we possibly could access that item. That flow right there can be used with every single Bolo deal that you have an opportunity to view. Let's continue now and go back to our original Bolo deals and see what happens with our ungating process. So I'm gonna scroll down to the next one. This is a PS4 game. I'm gonna click on Spy Rivals Lookup, same process, list on Amazon and request approval. It says I need approval to sell. I click on request approval and my selling application for this brand has been approved. Excellent. Let's go ahead and close out of Spy Rivals and let's do it again. I'll click on Spy Rivals lookup, list on Amazon, request approval, request approval on Amazon. And in this case, it's going to ask me for invoices. So on this one, it is a no. I'll come back to this one. This is another PS4 game. So I'll click on Spy Rivals Lookup. We'll head over to list on Amazon. Click request approval from Amazon, request approval. And we now have invoices. Now this is a really important lesson because oftentimes people believe that if they can't get approved the first time, why should they continue to apply? Well, what we did is we applied to get approved. They're ungated for a PS4 game and we were approved instantly. The next PS4 game we tried to get approved for, we need to provide invoices. So as I was sharing with you earlier, it isn't necessarily the brand. Now, sometimes it is, but sometimes it's the ASIN that you are applying for, not the brand. So in the first example, we were approved to sell a PS4 game. In the second ASIN with PS4 games, we had to, uh, we had to use invoices. Now again, we don't have to stop here. We can use the exact same flow. Let's go ahead and do it. See if there's anything interesting. The exact same flow to reverse engineer this Bolo deal. Let's go ahead and do that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of Spy Rivals and I'm going to head back over to our Bolo deals. And we can see that if we click on the Best Buy option, it's going to take us to a list of items that are similar. You see here it says compare similar items. If I select that option, it'll give me similar items. If I scroll down a little bit further, it'll show me ones that have been recently viewed. So let's go back up to the compare similar items. 
let's take a look and see what they have. Now, they're giving us three options. So I'm going to click on the first one, and I'm going to click on the second one. Now, both of them might be good. Both of them might be bad. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Kronos from the Ashes, PlayStation 4. If it says PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, that just simply means it works on both platforms. So I'm going to enter that uh, here at the title. We can take a look at the PlayStation 4 option. And let's take a look and see what it says. So we can see here that there are uh, nine sellers. There are 134 reviews. We'll click on Spy Rivals X. We can see that we need approval. So let's go ahead and see if we can get approved. Let's click Request Approval. And in this case, we're approved. So if we take a look now at this Amazon listing, we can see that we could sell 25 of these items a month. Now I'm going to take a look at Best Buy just to see what the item is being purchased for. So we can buy it for $10.99 on clearance. So if we bought it for $10.99 and we sold it for $29.99, our profit would be 81%. Now, remember what I said, we've just applied. It takes about 15 minutes to be approved. But in this case, we could sell 25 of these a month and make an 81% return. Now, we could stop right here and this video will have provided you with unbelievable content. I want you to understand, again, let me recap because sometimes when I go through this and we go through it very quickly, some people miss the important points of what just happened. So, so let, me, let me just do it with you again so you understand it. Because when people say, uh, my bolo deals are bad. No, your bolo deals aren't bad. You just haven't learned what to do yet. This isn't about a good or bad deal. There's no such thing as a bad deal. Opportunities either go to you or they go to someone else. Opportunities never go away. You just need to know what to do with them. And that's why I'm so excited that you're watching this training series because the more you watch it, the more you'll understand. By the way, I do recommend that you are subscribed to the channel. Of course, you want you know I'm gonna say that. And I also recommend you go back and watch episodes one through seven. There is a lot of information that you might have missed the more you do this, the more it'll start to make sense. So let's go ahead and just, again, let's just recap what we did because what we've just found is enough for us to say Bolo deals this week are worth it from this one deal that wasn't a Bolo deal. And yet I'm telling you that it makes Bolo deals worthwhile. Let, let me just review it with you one more time. Check this out. So the first thing that I did in this specific example was I clicked on the Spy Rivals lookup. And as I've been doing with every item in our Bolo deals, I'm clicking the list on Amazon and request approval. And in this particular case, we were not approved. Now, let me just stop here and talk to the people that are new. I want you to really think about what is happening here. This is for you. You just got your Bolo deals. You're incredibly excited. You click on the deals and they're all gated. Well, now you're a little bit deflated. You start to click on the get ungated, request approval, and it still says you're gated, as in the case with this PS4 game. So at this point, you've got a few options. You can throw your hands up in the air and wave them like you just don't care and quit and say, that's harder than I thought it was going to be. But that's not, that's not you. If it was you, you wouldn't still be watching. You wouldn't be here if that was you. I know that is not you. So what you're going to do is you're not going to move on to the next deal. You're going to reverse engineer the deal by headed to the retailer and seeing Look up every one of them. Look up the ones that are similar, the ones that other people buy and see what happens. Well, the one that we found 
was also gated. But when we clicked the link to get ungated, we were instantly approved. We found an item. Here, let's look a look and see what we found. We found an item that was selling 24 units, 25 units a day with an 81% profit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close that out and click refresh. When I click refresh, I'm gonna open up the Spy Rivals tab again. And what do we see? We see now that no listing restrictions apply. Congratulations. You have just gone above and beyond what the average person would have never done. You found a deal as a result of the Bolo deal that was not a Bolo deal. But because you know what you're looking for, you found an opportunity. An opportunity that sells 25 units a month with an 81% profit. Now, my suggestion to you is not to run out and try to buy that video game. Because I think what happens is people watch these videos and then they go buy the deals that I found. Well, that's not really the purpose of this video series. Of course, you're certainly welcome to do that, but now you're just adding to the number of sellers that are gonna be selling that item. Whatever you decide to do, you decide to do. But what happened as a result of the Bolo deal that was bad is that the opportunity created something that was phenomenal, 25 units a month and 81% profit. Now, before I continue, let me show you what I would do from here. Let's take a look. So the next thing that I would do is I would enter my buy price, $9.99. I would enter my sell price, $29.99. And then I would click on this button right here that says list on Amazon, list on Amazon. And that's now been listed on Amazon. So I don't have to open my Amazon seller account. I don't have to log into Amazon. I simply list the item from my Spy Rivals X or from Spy Rivals. Either one accomplishes the same thing. Quick reminder that when you list an item on Amazon, it can take up to 15 to 20 minutes for Amazon to show that item as being listed in your Amazon account. In addition, in almost all cases, it's going to show that the listing is inactive. What does that mean? It means that the item cannot be sold. So, so you, that you understand, because there's a lot of confusion that people say, well, if I've just listed the item, what happens if Amazon sells it and I don't have any? Well, that can't happen because when the item is fulfilled by Amazon, only items that Amazon has in stock will be listed and sold. So inactive doesn't mean the listing is inactive. Inactive means that the item is not in stock and no one can buy it. The ability to make the purchase is inactive. When Amazon receives the inventory, you'll be live on the Amazon page. You don't have to do anything. That happens automatically. And then the item switches automatically from inactive to active. That's what happens. So you don't have to worry about uh, Amazon selling it until they receive it. And then when they receive it, It'll be active, you'll make the sales, and then you'll wanna make a reorder down the road. So we found the item, we've now listed the item. The next thing that we would do is we would go to Best Buy and buy the item. Now I'm not gonna do that here in this video. The internet, as I mentioned, is very, very slow. And so it would probably take me about 35, 40 minutes just simply to buy the item at Best Buy. But I could absolutely make that happen from here and from anywhere, quite frankly. So the next thing we would do is we would buy the item from Best Buy. Once we've made the purchase of that item, whether we buy three units, five units, eight units, 12 units, if you're new, I would buy less than what Spy Rival says, simply because I'd want you to spread your investments around into different items. So you don't have to buy as many if you sell out fast, well, that's not a bad thing either.
So we're going to buy the item. We're going to use the prep center address as our ship to address. And then we're going to head over to the prep center and we're going to complete a prep form. Now, again, it does take anywhere from 15 minutes to four to five hours for Amazon to connect with the Internet Mastery platform for that item to be available to be submitted to the prep center. But the process is so smooth. You buy the inventory, you send it to the prep center, you complete the prep form that must be done before your items arrive, obviously, and then the prep center will receive it, they'll box it, they'll package it, and they'll send it off to Amazon on your behalf. Turnkey and hands-free. Now, you don't need to watch me go through the next seven or eight Bolo deals to see what's restricted and what's not. I've done enough here in this video for you to follow this process throughout every Bolo deal you have in your account. So let me give you some tasks uh, and then we'll start to wrap things up. Task number one is the first thing you do when you log in and you see your list of Bolo deals is do the Spy Rivals lookup, head over to the list on Amazon and see what is restricted and what is not. If it is restricted, apply to see what you can immediately get ungated in. If you can't get ungated, then head over to the retailer and do some reverse lookups. By the way, let me just throw out this big picture. What if you find some that you are immediately unrestricted in? You don't even have to apply. Or you find some that you apply and you get approved right away. Well, what can you do? You can head over to that website and you can still look for items that are similar. In other words, Bolo deals are opportunities that open up the door. Think about it this way. that They open up the door into the metaverse where there's all these different worlds and all of these different platforms and all of these different products that are available. You just need to be open to exploring them. So if the deal is bad and you can't be approved, well, guess what? You're going to look up and see what other items you might be able to get approved for and sell as we did. But what if you are approved? Well, why not look up and see other items that you're able to sell just the same way? In other words, if you look at the Bolo deals as opportunities, not as I can sell it or I can't sell it, and that is your baseline, then your world opens up to incredible possibilities. And so I want to just share with you that I am so excited that you've made the decision to participate, not just in our Internet Mastery community, but in this Bolo Deal series. You're committed. We're here on episode number eight. And really understand this is a long-term business. I understand you want to make money as soon as possible. I get that. Believe me, you've invested your money and you need to make it back. I get it. But at the same time, what you're doing is you're starting a business. 95% of all businesses do not make money in their first 12 months. I expect you to make money a lot sooner than that. But I can't make that promise and I can't make that claim. The closer you can follow it, the better. I love this training series, and I love the fact that you're here. I love the fact that I can film it while on a cruise ship. I love the fact that you can be anywhere at any time doing this business. It opens yourself up to incredible flexibility and freedom. This opportunity is very real. The only question I want you to ask yourself is how big you expect it to be for you, not your spouse, not your partner, not your neighbor, not your friends or your family. How big do you want it to be for you? If you stay focused, if you follow the steps, they may work right away and they may take a little bit of time. Everybody learns differently. Everybody is coming from a different place. But we know with 100% certainty that this works if you work it the way we've laid it out. So thanks so much for being here with me and episode number eight. 
I've got a whole bunch of stuff I've got to do here today. I know, don't feel bad for me. It's okay. Somebody's got to do it. I'm volunteering. And I'll look forward to seeing you at episode nine.